An Eastern Idaho family is mourning the loss of Dylan Rounds. He went missing two years ago in Utah, and earlier this week, officials found his remains in a rural part of the state. Here's a timeline of how we got here. 19-year-old Dylan Rounds went missing in 2022 during Memorial Day weekend. East Idaho News reports Dylan, who was from Rigby, moved to Utah to farm in a rural area near the Utah-Nevada border. In an interview with East Idaho News, his mom, Candace Cooley, says that he called his grandmother on May 28th. That's the last time his family heard from him. He was going to call her back and nobody heard from him. So that's when by Monday we had all touched on base on May 30th that morning and nobody had heard from Dylan and that's when we all headed to the farm. Search efforts started shortly after that with Box Elder County and the FBI leading this investigation. A couple officers and that's when an hour and a half, maybe an hour and a half into the search, that's when his boots were found behind the dirt pile. Months later, officials interviewed 59-year-old James Brenner, who they say had been squatting in a trailer five miles from where Dylan was staying. Cooley says Dylan and Brenner knew each other. He'd work for him off and on. Acquaintances. Yeah, and acquaintances. Kind of became... In June of 2022, a search warrant was issued on Brenner's trailer. Box Elder County Sheriff's Office says that they found muzzleloader firearms. Brenner was sentenced to 33 months in prison for being a felon possession of a firearm. According to a probable cause statement obtained by NBC News, the boot found in the initial search had blood on it. That blood matched DNA from both Dylan and Brenner. They also found a phone that last pinged at Lucen Pond near the trailer. On the phone, they say they found a video showing Brenner with blood stains on his arm and shirt as he was cleaning a gun. In March of 2023, Brenner was charged with aggravated murder and abuse of desecration of a human body in connection to Dylan's death. And for us, I mean, this is a win for everybody who helped us try to get the help that we needed. This is a win for all of us. And this leads us to now. On Tuesday, East Idaho News reports Brenner led officials to the burial site of the human remains as part of a plea agreement. Box Elder County Sheriff's Office says the remains belong to Dylan Rounds. And again, Brenner has been charged in connection to Dylan's death.